Okay, so here I want to talk a little bit about colors in your reports, okay? This is just one area where I constantly see reporting applications fall down a bit. And it can be so easily solved, um, you know, and it can make just such a big difference on the consumer experience in your, um, you know, within your organizations, within your teams, right? And, you know, even if you're not, to um you haven't got a sort of an artist background or you know, there's some simple rules that you can stick by and you know colors is a really big part of that making your reports all um look like they uh, you know, seamlessly work together you know within your organization with a certain color palette or you know even just in one report making sure all the colors work is, is is really really essential now one of the things that Power BI has improved out of sight from early days was how you can generate colors. It used to be such a manual process, and now they actually have these th this themes functionality, which is just so much better um, and enables you to quite quickly be able to go and grab a theme, right? So, say for instance, we want to change to this particular theme, um, I can very easily do that just by clicking, okay? Um, you know, I can also jump to a range of other themes very, very, very quickly you know, depending on, on my requirements, right? Um, so let's just have a click around, click around here. So, you know, we could also have a darker background, which which I personally like a lot more. Um, that's a bit too bit too fancy for me. But say, let's, let's go with this particular theme and see if we, I'd probably like this one the best and we can just clean it up a little bit. So at least we've got sort of like some consistent colors here. Now, one thing I wouldn't generally do is have the same color for different visualizations, okay? Um, these, some of these are just my personal preferences, by the way. So like, at the end, it's, it's totally up to you. But, you know, I would just make it a slightly different weighting of blue, you know, considering we're going for a blue sort of palette here. Um, and just have them, you know, a little bit, a little bit different just to, just to differentiate um, between uh, other things that are being shown on the page, right? Um, I might make this one a little bit darker. Okay. And so now we've got a bit more of a consistent color. So what I would also do though, is I'd change these. This, this gray doesn't work as well. So I'm gonna just come in down to items. I'm gonna multi-select them and I'm gonna have the background color as a, let's go with quite a dark blue. And then the font color as a white, right? Yep, okay, that's a little bit better. Might change that um, later on, but we could change you know, other things, like we can change the colors here. But what I'm also gonna do, and what I, I really like to do, if you, if you look on the Enterprise DNA Showcase page, I might actually um, try and jump on there now, just to show you. Um, I like to personally use darker backgrounds as well, okay? Another another personal preference of mine. I think it just sort of makes things stand out a little bit more. And so this, that's something that you could do as well. You could come through here and you could, um, if you don't select on anything and you go to the formatting section, you can change the, the background here to say, you know, a, a different shade and change the transparency. And then all of a sudden you've got sort of a bluish tinge in the background. What you would also need to do if you did that though, is you would need to come around here and change turn all the backgrounds off so you see here that the background is on you would need to turn that off to be able to um, get that color um, from the background shining through right so that's that's something to sort of bear in mind but let's let's actually do that i'm gonna i'm gonna quickly do it because i actually just prefer this look so much more than any other look um, so i'll just get rid of all these backgrounds first and we, we will change it around a little bit but I just it doesn't take it doesn't take too long if you just multi-select similar images because you remember you've got to do similar images at the same time um, that doesn't let you change select different images because all the formatting is different based on which one okay so now I'm starting to have your know, report a report that looks a little bit more in sync right um, and I'm gonna change I'm gonna change this background a little bit more I might even go a bit lighter actually Think that's a, 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 a this that color is a little bit better. Then what I sometimes do, which I also like, and this goes into one of my sort of best practices, is sort of think in grids. You'll see that, that we're, we're sorting, and I'll cover that in, in our that specific video a bit more that coming up after this. But um, 
you know, potentially what I would do here as well is I would um, create grids in a more, you know, make them even more obvious. So what I would do was I would say, okay, I'm going to create a shape, a rectangle, right? And I'm going to, I'm just going to change a few things. I'm going to get rid of the line. I don't want the weighting on that line. Just turn that to zero. I'm also going to get rid of the fill here, but I'm going to turn the background on. Okay, and then I'm going to make it a slightly darker shade of blue here than what is in the background. And then I can layer these on top of my visualizations. So I'll just maneuver this into place. And at the moment it's sitting in front of the visualization, but what I can do is I can go up to format and I can send it to the back, right? send it to the back of visualizations and now it sits in behind there okay and then I might want to just make these a little bit smaller and so there's a little bit of playing around here but look these are just some very simple things that you know you'll see the big difference you know once we get to the end you know in terms of sort of a look and feel of a report based on just having a clear white background with a whole range of visuals that don't have colors that work together you know it's very simple stuff and so once you get it set up, you can go work through it pretty quickly. You can use the arrows to sort of format things, get them in the right place. Um, just copy and paste these. And I'm, I'm just really defining the grids in my report, just making it really, really obvious. And I just find the, the eye, like the consumer eye, can quickly navigate to the right place when there's sort of a, like a clear delineation of what is in a particular grid. Okay. And so... Now that I've got these all set up, um, I'll do I'll do one more on the side here, down this side. So it's sort of sort of like beautification of your reports, very similar to if you're sort of working in, in PowerPoint, right? And you're just trying to make your report look that much nicer. So I'm going to multi-select all these by holding down Control, and then I'm going to come up to Format, and I'm going to say Send to Back. Okay right and so now you know i have a report that looks in my view you know a little bit a little bit clearer a little bit better a little bit more defined in terms of like what you might be looking at and look you can have a play around more you can you can adjust things uh, around your um report just with, with your arrows make sure they fit in you might even want to change the color of these a little bit because that black doesn't really go with the colors now that we're using so maybe Maybe I want to change these into a darker um, blue. Change, so it changes into a dark blue. And I can also change the category into a slightly lighter shade. And now we have an all blue one. Okay, so that's looking, I reckon that's looking pretty good. I mean, I think there's probably still some improvements we can make here, but I think that's probably enough in terms of a demonstration. What I want to show you now is just how you can create a customized color theme okay now what you want to do what you want to do is utilize the resources from the resource pack okay so you'll find that there's this text document if you double click that you'll see that this is a um, this is a um, setup um, for a this is the what, so what they call this will turn into a JSON format but this is the format basically that you need to have for your color theme okay to be able to import it into Power BI. And all you need to do is really get the hex colors of your corporate palette or of a theme that you want and input these within um, the locations here. And then they will flow through into your color palette in Power BI once you import it. Now a good website to have a look at is this one called Coolers. Um, this one will allow you to create colors that work together. So I'll just bring this up for you. Um, so if you do want to find colors that all work in together, it's all free. You can do it within here. So coolers is C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O. And really simply and easily, easy to, I use it all the time to, if I want to create some sort of custom, custom colors. And then once you've created it within a text file, what you want to do is you want to go file, save as, and within here, what you want to do is you want to go .json, okay? So you leave it as text and then go .json and go save. 
and then what will happen is it will save as a JSON file like that and then you can come in here and insert or um, um, import that particular theme okay and that's how you can you know customize things however you like okay so that's that's a way to do it and um, there's also you know some um, details around more specific things as well if you want to check it out and they might even change this in the future I'm just not sure you know it's it's probably better that ultimately you want to be able to change these quite easily in the Power BI tool itself right but at the moment you've got this sort of workaround so yeah have a something to, something to have a have a play around with um, something that's not too difficult but you know makes it makes a big difference right okay so that's enough around that um, you know, hopefully got the idea you know you we went through a few formatting ideas there as well so you know hopefully you got a lot out of um, you've got a lot out of this sort of last last um, last little bits around visualizations and really getting the hang and the idea of how you do it okay let's move on